Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tapping in Captain Chad, Team Floppy Ears. What we have here is a, I want to say he's just like a standard schnauzer. His name's Samson. And if I could describe to you guys Samson's personality um, in just a couple of words, it, it would likely be picture Dennis the Menace. <laughs> Little motherfucker right here, dude. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I, I should probably bleep that part out because I don't want to get, uh, who am I kidding? I'm not monetized on YouTube yet. Like, who fucking cares? Okay, demonetize this, YouTube. Anyway. Just going to uh, go through a couple of things with you guys today. Appreciate you tapping in. Captain Chad Gabs here, Team Flappy Ears. We have a leash dragging on Mr. Samson here. Woo! For this reason alone. Not trying to lose him. Okay? Uh, guys, today we are using beef recipe jerky strips. I am in no way, shape, or form uh, sponsored by beef recipe jerky strips. As a matter of fact, I haven't even taken a look at the ingredients on these bad boys, but um, regardless, it's high value for this kid. Came with his bag of food, so we know that it's likely that he likes these, which is good because, hey, new environment, we're going to be loading a clicker, all these types of things. But if you want to learn about everything I'm going to be going over in this video, you got to like the video. You got to subscribe to the channel. And you got to let me know what you think in the comments. Whether that be, uh, wow, interesting. I learned something new. I didn't know what that noise was. And I said, Chad, what's that click noise? And I was like, oh, that's the marker. And that's something that we're utilizing in today's session. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Chad, Samson, we're loading markers. Okay. We're teaching the place command without him even knowing he's learning the place command. Because at the end of the day, when we're talking place, teach the dog to go on the place. I, I say place. Some people say go to your bed. Other people say um, go to your spot. But it's just this a little elevated designated space that we have them on that we're working from in this particular context. And um, there's just a lot happening at once. You know, ultimately, there would be free shaping. I stepped on the leash right now, so I'm kind of just uh, going to try to encourage him to come back towards the elevated bed on his own so that I could uh, just mark and pay the behavior of him coming on it all by himself. I'll, I'll, I'll mark and reward that because that's, that's some effort. I really like to pay the effort. So as soon as, okay, so I clicked and he didn't look. This means that the marker isn't loaded yet. This is my first time using the marker with him, the clicker with him. Bam, right there. Nice. Don't want to get too click happy if they're not responding to it. You don't want to sit there and go click, 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 click. You kind of just like wait for your opportune moment to uh, get that eye contact and then reward. Similar to not like repeating your command, I would say. Bam. I'll switch up the time increment of, uh, or I don't know if that's the right term. I'll um, switch up the flow. You know what I'm saying? Like I won't like, re I won't like reward at the same time so that I become predictable. I kind of want to stay unpredictable so that I could sort of like. Uh, grasp more of the dog's attention. Does that make sense? So switching up the time, switching up the timing of it is uh, super effective in reference to like maintaining, um, t uh, t maintaining engagement, you know, that dog, that dog just like looking up at you, just like, uh, and you just, uh, you're keeping that focus that comes as a result of like reward, 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 wait, reward, wait, reward, 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 wait, Reward. Now I'm getting a little tired of this guy fucking around over here. So we're going to bring him back over here and kind of, that's why having the leash is like super handy when you're kind of like at the beginning stages of, you know, him and I just getting working together and you just want to have it access to control when you need it. Cause obviously he's not going to stay tapped in this young man right here. I'm just taking opportunities to, uh, taking opportunities to, um, 
to mark and pay, pay uh, behavior that I really like. And right there, that was just my way of trying to interrupt his bullshit because it kind of seemed like he was fixing it. Let's see what happens. I was assuming that this is going to lead to him just like getting up off the place and going to fuck off and doing his own thing. But wow, I was wrong. Damn, I missed my opportunity right there. Boom. You guys see what I'm saying where I'm just kind of like hanging, um, waiting. Uh, I am like, you know, I'll use the leash if I have to. But boom. So like, you know, I just try to get the dog over here to kind of kind of want to be over here. <laughs> I'll give him a little bit of help right there. You guys take what you want. Take what you want. Posturing up the fingers. I didn't want him to get off. Okay, and I just told him don't get off with posturing up two, three of my fingers. And he had that back hip right there where the leg meets the, the torso. You just take a couple of fingers and boop, little touch right there. Like, beep. you see, he already knows from the last time. I barely, barely touched him. Little trick of the trade, guys. Absolutely does no harm to the dog at all. It gets a point across. And then as you can see here, we end up with the dog that understands what we wanted from them without even having to um, uh, say any words. Just one little bit of... Uh, timely pressure and the dog understood what you want from them. Boom, right there. So he stopped his shit, gave me his focus and I pay him. This is called free shaping engagement. I'm not asking, I'm not barking any commands. The kid isn't going to know the command until after we really do a list shit a lot. Re repeat, 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 repeat. Um, and then, you know, I could, I could start incorporating the command sound after like X amount of reps, however many reps, you know, once I feel like we've gotten, um, our little fucking routine down, you know what I mean? Hey, like place. See, he has no idea what place means. Hey. But when we start incorporating a word, hey, place, I'll just start saying it just before he gets on it. So that like, you know, the dog has the ability to put the pieces of the puzzle together. So if he gets off, oh, good. He kind of self-corrected right there. I did grab the leash. However, I didn't put any pressure on it. So good. So I just wanted to watch this baseball game, but I need, but I needed to do some training. So I figured uh, place, stay, shaping the behaviors, engagement. Put him back down. <laughs> Whoops. The trouble with these beef jerky strips is that you have to take the time to, uh, to rip them down. But whatever. First world problems, right? Let's see if he knows. Uh, Samson, down. Well, technically that was a down, but I mean, I don't think, I don't think that, I, I, I think that was a coincidence. I think he was going to do that anyway. Let's test that. Let's test that. Place. Good. Sit. Down. What? Somebody's been working with their dog. Okay. That's pretty good. Somebody's been working the basics. Somebody's been working the basics. You love to see it. You love to see it. Do I have any more? How long can you hold this down? I don't suspect you could hold it for any much longer. I feel like this is a world record for you. Um, but we're going to keep going with it. So I'll reinforce while you're in this. Oh, I knew it. I, I honestly, like, I'm really proud of how long you stood to begin with. But hey, place. Nice. Down. Good. Yeah, I'm right there. Bam. I'll keep that engagement like he was sitting at a mother freaking slot machine. You know what I'm saying? Right there in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Got got these uh, stinky ass hoes. Dirty ass pimps walking by. Hey. Good. Place. Good. Down. I don't know what, I was just going crazy a second ago. I don't even know what I was talking about. Pimping hoes? What the fuck? 
I might have to just edit that stupid part out. All right. So let me just reassess what's going on here. Good. Down. So because I just started to notice this, this pattern of him just getting up right away and going to do his own thing over here, which is not clearly not what's happening right now. What's happening is right now is me and you are engaging. I'm loading a marker for you. I'm teaching you the place command. Okay, we're sharpening up our basic obedience by doing this nice good boy down right here. Okay, uh, working on our engagement, our relationship, spending quality time together. You're not just going to be running around this motherfucking house like a madman, Samson. You understand me? Okay, I know a lot of people at home right now have a motherfucking Samson just like yo ass. And they want to know what they can do to tame the beast. Well, folks, you're looking at it right here. You got to teach them, hey, man, sometimes we got to turn it off. We got to turn it off. Hey, it doesn't always have to be too bad. I mean, you can watch TV while you're doing it. You know what I'm talking about? If he wants to be a little bit of a weirdo, you know, show us how many extra chromosomes he may have while he's on the placemat. That's fine. Whatever. He is who he is. We got to love him for what it is. Send off. Bring him back into a down. Mark it and pay it. Guys, thanks for tapping in. I'm Captain Chad Gabs. If you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video, um, drop them in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram at Team Floppy Ears. Uh, what else is going on? Or just message me and let me know like what kind of dog you have um, in the comments. Um, we're going to end this on a positive note, please. Keep him, keep him nice and engaged. Um, but yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I appreciate you tapping in. Um, I'm going to try to start creating a little bit more consistent content again. I'm going to continue to post um, even more um, exclusive content on my Patreon page. So if you are still watching the video this far and uh, you want to eventually support me even further and see some content that you can't see anywhere else, uh, the link will be in the description. It's patreon.com slash team floppy ears. It's pretty much the only other way people can support me aside from actually hiring me to be their dog trainer. I do do Zoom calls, okay? If you go back and watch any of my content and you like what you see and you want to like consult with me, I do offer Zoom consultations as well, but I don't offer any sort of like online dog training programs or anything like that. Don't have time to, 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 to compose those things. Um, I, I barely have enough time um, to post these YouTube videos. Like, anyway. If you watch the videos and you take value from these things, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. I'm Captain Chad Gabs. This is Samson, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Good job, dude. Okay, freak. Session's over. But there's food you can't eat. So that's why. Leash. Leash in the house, guys. Absolutely invaluable. Let's see if... Uh, Let's see if this recorded. <laughs>